left to the head. Johnson with another right. And there's a hard right from Baker. Now they're in the trench. The referee separates them. Now they're in the center of the ring. Johnson leads with the right. Not the right, Johnson. Not the right. I use your left. Use your left. Johnson leads with his left. And Johnson is down. One, two, three, oh, sorry. four, five, six. Is the fight over, George? Uh, being kind of slow over there, huh? Slow? 
They're so quiet in the lobby that, that the house detective keeps in practice by shadowing the party plum. I heard the manager say he was thinking about hiring a press agent to give the hotel some publicity. You know, boom up the business. Mmm, a press agent. Uh, that'd be pretty good. With the expense account and the salary and all. Uh, a man probably could pick up a hundred bucks uh, right fast. Uh, what's his name? Uh, his name's him. Um, well, I guess I'll go over there and see Mr. Tenson, see can I make a deal to publicate up the place. But, Kingfish, you don't know nothing about being no press agent. Oh, uh, Calhoun, there's nothing to it. All you gotta do is uh, call up a few columnists, plant a flash, and dig up a little scoop. Yeah, but you don't know no columnists. Calhoun, I done thought of that. Now, you wait right here and give me a few minutes to get over to Mr. Simpson's office, and then you call me up over there every two or three minutes. Oh, I'm getting your old round you. <laughs> we need publicity badly. Have you got good newspaper connections? Oh, I got connection with all the top columnists in the world. Uh, by the way, uh, there been any calls for me? No. <laughs> Hello? Stephen? Yes, he's right here. It's for you. Oh, uh, hello? Hello? It's me. Oh, hello, W.W. Did you give them initials? W.W. Oh, the windshield. Oh, they said, now where have I go? Okay. I'd like to give you that hot item, but I don't promise it to uh, Ed Sullivan. But just as soon as you know who moved out with that damn movie star, I'll give you the tip. Okay, W.W., give my regard to Mr. and Mrs. North America and all the ships at sea. Oh, that's just a little secret code we got. Well, goodbye, W.W. Now, where was we, uh, Mr. Simpson? Was that Walter Winchell? Mr. Simpson, a good press agent never give away any of the tricks of the trade. Well, our problem is... Stephen? Right here. Hello? Hello? What's this me again? Oh, put it on. Hello, our famous lady Hollywood columnist. She don't like to be the mention on me. Yeah, I was expecting a jingle from Carrie, but I guess I missed the call because uh, I had Kalula at Clark's party. Oh, uh, you leaving town? Oh, well, then, uh, when I super chiefs out to the coast, I'll see ya. <laughs> well, don't take no wooden scoops. <laughs> uh, goodbye. Later. Now, Mr. Tenton, uh, what was we saying? Uh, now, Stevens, I think we can work out a deal. It's... I know, it's for me. <laughs> Hello? Guess who? <laughs> oh, uh... Uh, look, Ed, I got a flash for you, but I'll have to give it to you later. And tell all of the news hawks and news hens, I'm busy and don't call me no more. Uh, by the way, the punk jab of Jabberpo called. He said he wants his money. Oh, look, Ed, uh, that angle can be taken care of, too. So now, Mr. Simpson, I'm out to deal. Uh, I can give you a flat in the Dutchery Sea uh, for my service as a press agent for $100. And that includes publicity, notoriety, and handbills. Our hotel needs just one kind of publicity. We need some important people to stay here. That'll get us in the papers and attract business to our establishment. Look at the publicity the Waldorf gets. They had the Raj of Pakistan staying there. Well, old oh Raj. <laughs> well, now, if I had a note that sooner, I could have got him to stay here. Well, do you know anyone else like that? Mm, Raj. A uh, thought just hit me. <laughs> Mr. Simpson, how would you like to have as a guest in your hotel the Punjab of Jalapur? <laughs> name is familiar. Is he an oriental potentate? Why, he's the most potent potentate they got over there. You can arrange that. You gotta be that. Just as easy as easy shish kebab. Now, how about that? You produce the Punjab, and you'll get the money. Well, in the vernacular of the press agent, that good news tonight. <laughs> well, goodbye, Mr. Davis. Goodbye, Mr. Davis. Uh, sounds good, all right. Uh, but why is the hotel doing all this for me just because I was walking in in this outfit? 
Well, I tell you, Andy, the hotel wants to impress their guests with the fact that they cater to the royal clientele. And they use you for an atmosphere, just like they used you over at the Sultan Cafe. Oh. Yeah, and Andy, if you didn't wear that Punjab outfit, the people in the restaurant wouldn't think that they were getting the real East Indian shish kebab. Yeah, but the people living at the hotel are going to know I ain't no Punjab the minute I open my mouth. I don't talk in that Punjab talk. Andy, you don't have to open your mouth. I do the interpreting for you. In fact, we make you look pretty good. We're going to buy some of that cartoon jewelry from the dime store, and you can pass it out for tips. And the gal that worked in the hotel are like that. Yeah, it ain't gonna cost me a single cent. Now I get my hundred bucks back beside. Positively, Andy, positively. Now you can uh, just give me Mama's pin and I'll take care of everything. No, Kingfish, I think I'll just keep the pin until I get the vacation and my hundred bucks back. Well, okay, Andy, go on home, put on this outfit, and we'll pick you up in an hour. Okay, King Pete. See you later. Yeah, so long, Andy. Hello? Uh, Mr. Simpson, please. Oh, uh, Mr. Simpson? Well, this is your favorite press agent, George Stevens. Well, warm up the royal suite. The Punjabba Java Poe is moving in. Boy, take these up to the royal suite. Make sure there's plenty of ice water and see that the incense is burning. The Punjab should be here in a minute. Yes, sir. <laughs> Punjab, we are happy to have him here and hope his stay will be a pleasant one. Ah, Sahib Simpson, Akatoa, Mongarina, Plazeris, Hagadoga. The Punjab say he thank you and he's looking forward to staying here and enjoying a nice vacation. Would the Punjab mind putting his royal signature on our register? The Punjab signs nothing but a royal proclamation. I will put his royal John Hancock down there for him. Now park the elephant in the garage and on to the royal suite. Park this way, please. Oh, you gonna do me one jab? We're gonna be here two, three days. Oh. Calhoun, the press agent thing going fine. Well, I'm so glad to hear that, Kingfish. So glad to hear. Yeah, I got a date at three o'clock to meet Mr. Simpson, the manager, and he's gonna give me the hundred dollars. Well, that's good. Hello, this is George Stevens speaking. Where's my diamond and ruby pin? Uh, meet me in the lobby of the Planet Ritz Hotel at three fifteen, and I hand it over to you. Well, I'll be in the hotel lobby at 3.15, and you had better have my pin. Uh, don't worry about a thing, Mama. I'll meet you at the hotel. <laughs> and it didn't give you the pin back yet, huh? No, Calhoun, he's holding on to it like glue. 
But when Mr. Simpson give me the hundred dollars, I give it to Andy, Andy give me the pin, I give the pin to Mama, and everything will be fine. And then I'll be a free man again. Yeah, but what about Andy? Oh, I fixed him up good. Andy living the royal life of luxury. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. I hope I did your nails the way you're accustomed to having them done in your country. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. <laughs> oh, hi, Mabel. Here's a Punjab's latest order from the haberdashery. Four more sport coats. What do you think of this guy? Buying everything in the hotel. And he can't even talk English. Yeah, he must be loaded. Yeah. I hear this room is costing him $75 a day. And all that food he's been ordering. I wouldn't like to get the bill for that. Well, i got to go. I've got a 3 o'clock appointment. See you later. Okay, bye. Well, Mr. Simpson said he would meet me here at 3 o'clock. Oh, but I'm sorry. Mr. Simpson phoned and said he'd be detained. Hmm. Well, Mama will be here. I'll tell you, couldn't you just give me the money? Oh, I'm so sorry, but I have nothing to do with that. Hmm. Oh, uh, you mind if I use the phone? Help yourself. Oh, give me the royal suite, please. Hello. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm in Unga Dunga. <laughs> oh, uh, okay, Punjab. Annie, this is me. Uh, look, I'm on a spot here. I got to have that pin. Uh, Mama will be here any minute now. Uh, you got the money, Kingfish? Well, it's coming up. And I'll give it to you just as soon as I get it. Nothing doing. And another thing, I heard the bellboy say this room is costing $75 a day, and they're going to charge me for the food and everything. I thought I was getting all this stuff free for being the atmosphere. <laughs> well, that's uh, just a hotel, just a way of letting you know the extension of their hospitality. Well, that better be right. It is. Uh, now, how about the pen? You ain't getting the pen till I get my money. And that's my last royal word on the royal subject. Ah, hello, hello, Oh, uh, Mr. Simpson, I've been looking for you. Yes, I've been looking for you, too. I want to talk to you. Well, let's talk over here. What's the idea? Oh, uh, well, that's cooler over here. The heat's on out there. Now, Mr. Simpson, uh, about the money. I'll take it in five, ten, dirty twenties, or whatever way you have it. Before we discuss that money, we're getting worried about the Punjab's bill. Oh, there's nothing to worry about. I'm sure it's correct. I know that. But he only checked in here a few hours ago, and already he owes us $326.18. 18 cents, huh? Yes. Since we have no credit rating on the Punjab, you are responsible for this bill. Are you, huh? Yes. You brought him in here. You even signed the register for it. Well, uh, I just on my way to the bank now. I'm going to uh, have some of the Punjab's uh, rupees transferred into a pound sterling. I'll be right back. <laughs> You were going to the bank. I just happened to remember. I got to go by the travel bureau to see about some traveling. You know, the punch abs are returned, you know. The traveling bureau is closed. Oh, well, then I guess I'll go on down to the hotel drugstore. <laughs> Voice down to a war cry. I go upstairs now and get the pin from the council, and I'll be right down. And I'll be waiting right here. And don't try sneaking out like you did just now, because Sapphire's watching the back door. Oh, well, I'll get the pin somehow. <laughs> hey, hello, Andy, old Punjab. Now, don't give me that soft soap, please, Kingfish. No money and no pen. I didn't mention the pen, did I? Where is it? Here. Yes, please. Oh, well, Andy, I brought a little present for you. 
What is it? Well, it's a bottle of that there uh, imported uh, super fragrance for the royal family only bath salt. Presented to you with the admiration of the manager. That's it. Mmm. Smell pretty good. I'll try them later. Oh, no, Andy, you got to get in the tub right now. Cause the manager's waiting down there to see how you like it. And if he do, why, he liable to order you a couple of cases. Free of charge. Well, all right. Well, come on, Andy. Uh, don't keep the man waiting. Come on, son. Now, uh, Andy, you can move faster than that. Oh, uh, come on, son. Get right on in there. Yeah, now get on in there, Andy, and pass your clothes out to me, and I'll get your pantaloon press while you're assaulting yourself in the tub. Nothing but cheap costume jewelry, huh? Yeah, he's been tipping everyone in the hotel with that cheap joke. <laughs> Miss Weaver, bring me the Punjab bill. Yeah. Oh, is this all, Andy? Yeah. Well, take your time in the tub in there. Okay. We'd like to have some money on his bill. It's $328.75. Somebody just charged a bottle of bath salt. Hmm, uh, Bill, uh, I wonder what that word is in the coon jazz native tongue. Uh, I just go to the library and look it up in that shoot in the American Dictionary. Oh, hold on, English. <laughs> well, uh, he certainly picked up the English language fast, didn't he, Mr. Jones? Oh, he is a phony, huh? Do you two know what the penalty is for defrauding an innkeeper? I ain't defrauding nobody, Mr. Simpson. This was all the Kingfish's idea. Now I'll tell you what happened. And that's how it was, Mr. Simpson. I thought you would let me have all this stuff free because I was providing the atmosphere with the Punjab outfit like I does at the Sultan Cafe. Obviously, you were taken in just as I was. And I thought I was getting some good publicity out of this. Well, it was good publicity up until now. Uh, don't let it go sour on you. What do you mean? Well, when the Punjab checked in here, everybody thought it was the real thing. Now that they find out he's a phony, you're going to be the laughing stock of the whole innkeeper's crowd. <laughs> mm. So the thing to do is let him check out just like he checked in and disappear into the wilds of Javapur. That's probably the only thing we can do. Well, what about the bill? I'll see that it's taken care of. Run. Take this up to 324. Yeah, but Mr. Simpson, how much longer I got to go on hopping bills? <laughs> oh, about two more weeks and the Punjab's bill will be paid up. Hey, Kingfish. Oh, uh, hello, Andy. Uh, when am I going to get my hundred bucks now? I'll let you have the pen so you can get out of trouble with Sapphire's mama. Well, Andy, you ain't got nothing to worry about. I give you some good collateral to take the place of the pin. Are you taking good care of it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Tusco. <laughs> Hello, boy. Hold it. Hold it. Yeah, me and Tusco are real pals. In fact, he got me a better job at the Southern Cafe. I'm the advertising manager now. The advertising manager? Yeah. Look at here. Yeah, see that? <laughs> All right, come on, Tesco. Come on. 